Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish. In the last video, I had uh, presented the logic of complex numbers, why complex number method works in AC and how to use it. And today I am going to present an application of the same and it's a challenging problem from uh, Open Online Physics uh, Olympiad, OPHO 2021. So let me present the problem. Some of my students are facing uh, some difficulty with this one. That's why I decided to do a video. And uh, if you want to have a look at the complex number method, you can watch my last video. I'll also give the link in the description box. Okay, so without much ado, let me read out this problem. In the circuit shown below, a capacitor of capacitance 4 farad and inductor of inductance 5 Henry and resistors R1 is equal to 3 ohm and R2 is equal to 2 ohms are placed in a diamond shape and then fed an alternating current with peak voltage of 1 volt. So there is a source with peak voltage 1 volt. Okay. And we have a bridge kind of arrangement over here, inductor, capacitor, resistor and resistor. Okay. Okay. Determine the magnitude of maximum instantaneous output voltage in the shown diagram. So this has peak voltage 1 volt. So we have to tell what is the maximum possible output voltage over here. And obviously uh, the question doesn't explicitly, explicitly mention it, but it's understood that we are varying the frequencies and uh, at certain frequency, the output voltage will have certain uh, peak amplitude, maximum amplitude, and we have to find out that maximum possible amplitude. Okay? So if you want, you can give it a try. I'll present my analysis right away. So, uh, okay. So let's say I'm, I'm going to apply node voltage method and I told you how all AC circuits can be converted to DC circuits in the last video. So I'm not going to dwell on that method, uh, but I'm straight, straight away going to use the node voltage method over here. So let's say uh, I call this uh, node as a zero potential from here to here. It's all zero potential. And uh, this node I'm calling as uh, V complex, uh, where V complex is this uh, generator voltage. And let's say this node has uh, the complex voltage X tilde and this uh, node has complex voltage Y tilde and you know that this inductor is in series with this R2 and in series the potential drops are in the ratio of re uh, re resistances and in this case we have complex resistances or you can say reactances so we just divide the potential drop V uh, minus 0 we divide in the ratio of J omega L to R2 to, and uh, the X tilde is then simply the potential drop across R2 right and similarly Y tilde is nothing but potential drop across this capacitor right. So let's do it. So we shall use node voltage methods for finding potentials of nodes X and Y. Also, we use the fact that potential drops in series are in direct ratio of resistances or impedances. Okay. So here uh, to find the value of X tilde, we can simply do R2 divided by R2 plus J omega L. J omega L is the complex impedance of the inductor, right? So R2 upon R2 plus J omega L into uh, complex voltage is the uh, potential of the node X, right? This potential. Similarly, what about the potential of this? So potential drop across capacitor that is minus J by omega C divided by minus J by omega C plus R1 into uh, this uh, V tilde. So entire drop, okay? Because the entire branch has got V tilde and we divide that in the ratio of reactances. So, so this is the value of uh, Y tilde. So that is V tilde into minus J by omega C divided by R1 minus J by omega C. And what is our output voltage? Output voltage is nothing but uh, X tilde minus Y tilde. So here it is Y tilde, here it is X tilde and we need to just subtract the two. So uh, we can do that and if you simplify that, you have X tilde, you have Y tilde and you simplify it and this is what you get for uh, output voltage. I am calling this as uh, uh, VO tilde, uh, not to be confused with this V naught. Oops. So uh, this this is V naught and let's say that is uh, V. Let me to avoid the confusion. Let me just call it V O tilde. So V O is the output voltage. Okay. Okay. So putting in the values. Uh, uh, so once again, let me make it capital O, just for avoiding the confusion. This is not V naught. Okay. Output voltage is. Uh, so I put the value of R two and uh, uh, L and. Uh, C. So this is what you get by simplification. Further, if you simplify now magnitude, I have to find out the magnitude of the output voltage. So that I can simply find out by putting the so magnitude of a complex number is what that is uh, Z into Z star and square root, right? So uh, that's the magnitude. If you find out uh, that is simple, simply you can add. See, this is uh, uh, 12 omega minus J and this is 2 plus 5 omega. And if you take the LCM and then you uh, uh, add so you will get what this will be 2j 
and from here you will get minus 2j so j part will cancel off and then you have uh, 5 omega and then uh, uh, I'm just take the LCM so uh, 12 into 2 that will become 24 and 24 minus 5 that will become 19 omega right so so numerator is simply 19 omega and denominator so you know that z1 upon uh, z2 z1 upon z2 into z3 magnitude is nothing but z1 magnitude divided by z2 and magnitude and z3 magnitude so this magnitude is 4 plus 25 omega square and this magnitude is 144 omega square plus 1 okay so this is your uh, amplitude of the uh, output voltage right now uh, this is a function of omega and you need to maxim maximize this with uh, respect to omega and of course uh, the peak value of uh, uh, the generator voltage that was uh, 1 volt so this is small o and I have substituted V naught as 1 volt okay this is V capital O and this is V small o okay so this is what you get now you just differ you need to differentiate it with respect to omega and now this looks cumbersome so how, how to simplify this so you just put omega square equal to x and divide the numerator and denominator by omega square and then you have a simple simpler expression in omega square so omega square you have put as x and you should divide this by omega square this becomes 3600 omega square that is 3600 x this becomes 4 by omega square that is 4 by x and this becomes 601 okay and now it's easier to uh, mini so now you just minimize this term and that will maximize uh, v output right so once again let me make it v capital o okay so you just differentiate this with respect to x that's what i have done and put equal to 0 that gives me x is equal to 1 by 30 that is omega square is 1 by 30 now you just put uh, x as 1 by 30 in this and simplify and you get the value of uh, v output maximum v output comes as 19 upon 29 volts which is approximately 0 0.66 volts okay so this is our final answer hope you enjoyed the analysis and if you enjoyed the analysis please do give it a thumbs up and uh, please share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp telegram discord or whatever medium you use for networking with them and uh, most importantly if you have not already subscribed to my channel you know what motivates me the most uh, please do subscribe to my channel hit that subscribe button press the bell icon so you may get the notifications and thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always God bless you all. Thank you.